So guys, this is my brand new Frog Togs jacket and I am really excited to do an in-depth review all about it today. We're gonna to be doing some real world tests. It's dripping right off me, my friend. So yeah, let's just dive in, shall we? Lights, camera, action, let's go. Kapow. All right guys, today is gonna to be a fun one. Today we are gonna be talking about the waterproof Frog Togs rain suit. So the other day guys, I bought this 35 pound set of waterproof layering and I was shocked by the result. This waterproof set includes a waterproof jacket, the one that I'm wearing right now, and a waterproof pair of trousers. Comes in this neat little bag, pretty cool, hey? And they're made by a brand I hadn't heard before now. They're called Frog Togs. They primarily sell these kind of jackets to fishermen, to hunters, but they seem to be becoming more and more popular amongst hikers over the last few years. So I thought I would join in on the fun and see what the Frog Tog waterproof shell suit is all about. So let's get right into it. The Frog Togs Ultralight 2 are constructed from a ultra lightweight, waterproof, breathable, non-woven, polyproly, I can't really say it, I'll put it up on screen now, polypropylene material. And it says on their website that this jacket even features a patented bilaminate technology with welded waterproof seams, which means that this jacket must keep the rain out, right? The jacket has a rugged Bare Essentials design that sort of resembles a bin bag on a summer's day. No, I'm joking. I actually quite like the design. It's different, it's rugged, and yeah, it kind of reminds me of like outdoorsman kind of vibe. So yeah, I'm really impressed by the look of this jacket for the price point it's actually at. So you can buy the jacket as a single jacket or you can buy it as a suit, which is what I've done. It comes in multiple different colors and sizes. You can get adult or child. And for quick reference, I've left a Amazon link to the main selling page down in the description below. So guess what guys, this waterproof jacket actually does what it says on the tin. It is waterproof. And to prove it to you, here is my classic spray bottle test. I'm also thinking about jumping in the shower with this too. I think that'd be quite funny to show you guys how waterproof this thing is. It genuinely does work. It is waterproof and it does keep you dry. <laughs> There's your test. Do I look dry? I feel quite dry. I think it's a little bit wet, but that's purely because of the face underneath the shower and it's gone down, straight down into the jacket. But look, my t-shirt, the rest of me is, is dry, is it not? I feel completely dry. I found something out that everybody should know. This jacket is actually made of the same material that hospital surgical gowns are made from. So if doctors who aren't worried about rain, who are worried about blood, if they trust this material, then I think we can be confident in trusting it too, guys. And if not, then come on guys, this should really do the trick. The jacket features a main body zip. It does get caught occasionally, but not all the time. I'd say that this zip isn't a heavy duty one that you would see on like a Patagonia jacket or any kind of Gore-Tex jacket. But for the price point that this jacket is at, it does the job, guys. Another great part of this jacket is that it's got really elasticated wrists, so you do not need to worry about water rolling down from your hands, down your arm and giving you those horrible shivers. It's not gonna happen with this jacket because it is, it's super tight around your wrist. The jacket has a really effective drawstring hood that stays in position for a long time. I will example it to you right now. Jeez, this is pretty tight, guys. So guys, I mean, that is pretty good, isn't it? I was actually gonna say that this isn't as good as other jackets, but this may well be one of the tightest hoods I've ever seen. It comes right down to my face. You're gonna be waterproof in this, aren't you? My God. I've got a pineapple head. <laughs> okay, so yeah, guys, you can see that that is really effective. It gets super, super tight around the eyes, and I reckon it could be tight all the way up if you wanted it to be. So yeah, really impressed with that. The trousers are much bigger and looser than I expected them to originally be, but I feel that that is because they've been designed to be able to be put on without taking your boots off. I don't know this for sure because I don't want to get my trousers covered in mud, but if you are out in the field and you need to quickly throw on some waterproof trousers, in theory, I think these that's what these trousers are made to be able to do. They're super wide so that you can just slip them over your boot without having to take them off. And guys, look, I think that's cool. It's an effective way of saving you time when you're out on the trail. But guys, it does come with a trade off, you are gonna look a little bit like a bin bag when you are hiking with the top and bottom trousers on, especially if you're in this kind of like refuse green that I'm in. But hey, it does the job, it serves its purpose. This coat is not about looking absolutely stunning and trading off a label. It is just, it is just simple and built for purpose, guys. So you've probably noticed the elephant in the room, guys, that there is no pockets on this jacket or on the trousers, which I'm not gonna lie, is 
bizarre. I don't know why they would do it. The only reason why I could think that they would think that this is a good idea is the fact that they're banking on the fact that you'd wear these waterproof layers on top of like base layers, like, you know, a down jacket or just generic outdoor trousers or jeans or whatever. So they're probably banking on the fact that you use those pockets from your lower layers. Probably the reason why they've done it is because they want to reduce the price point. If there's no pockets, then there's less sewing, meaning there's less manufacturing time, meaning the price point is, you know, significantly lowered. So yeah, I've worn this jacket a couple of times over my down jacket on an adventure. And at first it is a little bit weird when you reach down to grab your phone and you realize it's not there, it's under your jacket. The main problem of this item is its strength. As I'm sure you've realized, although I've got to say this horrible word again, polypropylene, polypropylene, polypropylene. Although polypropylene material is definitely waterproof, guys, it is by no means robust or strong. I actually learned this the hard way the other day while I was stealth camping at McDonald's of all places. I was pushing through a tree line, going through loads of thick bushes, past some really spiky trees, and my jacket got absolutely shredded. You may have seen it in this video about this jacket so far. It, there's plenty of holes in this jacket, and unfortunately, that's from this McDonald's stealth camp that I did the other day, which you should definitely go and check out after this video, by the way, because it's hilarious. There are small rips and holes everywhere. So from this experience, I can tell you guys that if you plan to go through thick bush, brush up against thorn trees, or just go majorly off trail, and this jacket is not useful for your hiking because guys, it's gonna get torn up, just like mine. But there is a buck coming, guys, because if you plan on staying on trail, if you're hiking in a mountainous area where there is not many spiky trees, where there is not many bushes, where it is pretty much just tall, grassy highlands and rocks, then your jacket is not likely to get punctured, which means that this jacket will be useful for you. You're gonna be able to walk through the mountains, through high winds, and not have a single problem, and it is gonna keep you dry, guys, but not if you're heading through a thorny bush. Just remember that. I had to learn that the hard way, guys. Don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> one of these is about 35 to 50 pounds, meaning for the price of one really high quality Gore-Tex coat, like 200 quid, you could buy four sets of these for you and your whole family. You could all be matching colors or you could have different colors. It'll be really fun. I'm gonna patch up the holes that are on this jacket and I'm gonna continue to wear it throughout multiple adventures because I love the color, I love the look. And finally, guys, the major plus of this jacket is its weight. It weighs absolutely nothing. You can get crunched down into to the size of a fist and can be thrown at the bottom of a bag with absolute ease, guys. You can stuff this thing absolutely anywhere. It's good for a hike or for your commute to work because you just keep it at the bottom of your laptop bag. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you wanna buy this jacket, like I said, buy it down through the link below. You'll be supporting me and the channel. If you wanna check out my other reviews, they'll be popping up on screen now. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one very, very soon. Peace.